Now in today's video, we are filming a full tour of my entire car collection. So the year is 2005. That's me, a scrubby kid living in Bend, Oregon. It's peak Top Gear, Clarkson, Hammond, May. James Stradman. It's the beginning of the best 10 years of our lives. Social media, don't have one. Smartphones, don't want one. And some of the best cars of our generation, Porsche Carrera GT, the 2005 Ferrari Enzo. Electric vehicles, they're a joke from 1991. In 2005, Elon Musk himself on a McLaren F1, the fastest car in the world. It will not go any more than 391. But there's a new kid on the block. 1,001 horsepower, quad turbocharged. $1 million. The new fastest car in the world. I don't know how to explain it. Something changes at 175 miles an hour. You start to lose your peripheral. Your brain function slows. And somewhere between 185 and 190 miles an hour, your heart stops. 191. 192. I don't know if it's hardwired or artificial programming, but the muscles in your foot never lift. 194. 196. At 197 miles an hour, your blood vessels constrict. 198. At 199 miles an hour, for one single second, the world stops. Time, as you know, it ceases to exist. At 200 miles an hour, a Bugatti Veyron covers one football field every single second. 200 miles an hour. Nothing's ever gonna touch a Bugatti Veyron. 254 miles an hour, the kingpin, the chosen one, the be all end all, the final frontier, the Veyron. I have not had my entire car collection together in the same place in almost four years. We have five cars missing. My Liberty Walk wide body Ferrari 458 is getting some service. The Aventador Coupe is going full carbon fiber. The Nissan Z, we're gonna wide body the world. And how could we forget the twin turbo Lamborghini Gallardo? I have an update coming for you guys soon. Now I have been challenged. Insta360 has challenged me to film the best single car collection video I can using their brand new Insta360, the Go 3, the best action camera in the world, the latest and greatest from Insta360. Now you guys know Insta360. This is the X3 and it's the greatest 360 camera in the world. And now Insta360 has just released their brand new Go 3, tiny and mighty, the most versatile, the most innovative action camera in the world. What else needs to really be said? Quite possibly the greatest automotive manufacturer of all time. They call it a super fast. It's not just fast, it's super fast. I don't know how Ferrari does it. The shrieking sound of this car approaching red line, that's the Italian national anthem. The new Insta360 GO 3 has revolutionized the game. If you're looking to get into YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, this camera will change your life. The unique angles you can get with this camera with ease that would take forever to get with a hefty bulky camera like this. Check out the link in the description below to pick up the new GO 3. Tag me on your Instagram reels, tag me on your TikToks, tag me on your YouTube videos. I want to see what you guys can shoot with the GO 3. There's a ton of cool accessories for the GO 3. This is one of my favorites. It actually clips into the bill of your hat and with the magnetic backing, Look at that. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! Every single time you drive it, all you want to do, 9,000 RPMs, 9,000 RPMs, 9,000 RPMs, I'm going to end up in jail. It's an 812 super fast. Now, my favorite part about the brand new Go 3 is the flip up touchscreen. Usually, filming POV shots on the fly is really, really difficult. You don't know exactly where the camera is facing, you don't know what it sees, but with the touchscreen, you can see exactly what the Go 3 sees on the fly. Honestly, it's too easy. And the Go 3 can shoot up to 2.7K video resolution, hands free POV with flow state stabilization. And the Go 3 also has this multi functional action pod. You can extend the battery life of the Go 3 to 170 minutes, you can play back footage, and you can also adjust settings to make sure you get the Best shot. A high speed crash involving a Lamborghini and a marked Chicago police car shut down the DuSable Bridge early this morning. The Lamborghini crashed into the police car and destroyed a light on the bridge. The now, crazy enough, that car, that exact car crashed on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. That car is this car. They're the same car. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
I've always dreamed of owning a Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador. This car is number 13 of 50. 50 kits for the entire world. The first time I touched an aerosol, I was cutting up a $300,000 Lamborghini. I wanted to paint her a special color, Lamborghini Ad Personum Rosa Acantis. There's only two Lamborghinis in the world fitted to this color, a Centenario in Switzerland and an SV in Tokyo, Japan. I know I'm embarrassing myself right now, but I am genuinely so excited. In early April of 2021, my dad suffered a stroke that led to a massive heart attack. I was able to visit him in the hospital and he was so excited about the events of a roadster. He absolutely loved the color. Back in Utah, I continued racing to finish the car. And on May 5th, 2021, at 11.45 p.m., the car was done. I was so excited and so proud. Less than an hour later, on May 6th, 2021, I got a phone call from my mom. My dad had suffered a second heart attack and had died. I think some people find it stupid or corny, but I dedicated the events of a roaster to my dad. Dad's V12. In loving memory of Papa Strad, May 6, 2021. This is my dad's 1969 GMC truck. I'm able to drive that because my dad drove this. My dad dedicated his life to take care of me, my mom, my three brothers, and he drove this truck for 25 years. I found my dad's truck in Massachusetts a couple months ago. It had been lost for 15 years. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I just want to make him proud. My passion for supercars started off at a very early age. I was a car spotter, but I lived in Oregon. If I was lucky, I might see a Dodge Viper, Maserati Quattroporte, but everything changed on August 20th of 2006. I'll never forget it. I heard the car coming from a mile away. The distinct hum of a V12 Lamborghini, a 2003 Lamborghini Murcielago. It was a 40th anniversary, one of 50 in the world, in Bend, Oregon. I know you guys know where this is going, but we have to finish the story. I now own that exact car, not the model car, I own the real one. That shift from first to second is special. But from second to third, it's so buttery smooth, it's so effortless. Now the shift from third to fourth happens nearly instantaneously. At this point you're breaking every speed limit known to man, but it doesn't matter. It's a Murcielago. The mounting system for the Go 3, it could not be any easier. I did that in like two milliseconds. This mount has a sticky backing. I'm gonna set the Go 3 right here with the flip up screen. You can see exactly what the Go 3 sees. I spent $300,000 to customize a Jeep Gladiator into a 6x6 Helosaurus, and in the process, I made it less capable off road. This is by definition a mall crawler. However, that being said, you gotta admit, she looks the part. You got 42 inch tires. I got one ton axles. It's a six by six. Um, this is kind of sort of special. I more than likely just broke something, but a lot of the weeds are gone. Kinda. You have no idea what you're even looking at. You've never seen one. This is a Lamborghini. This is the Lambo before the Lamborghini Countach. It's kind of sort of ugly, and it's kind of sort of cool. I never really knew I wanted one, yet when I saw it, I had to have it. And it's pink. Another fun fact, I am the youngest Espada owner in the world by about 25 years. Could be wrong, could be right, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I could show you guys speed and acceleration all day long. We've been there, we've done that. We haven't crushed anything yet. And don't worry about the Go 3, it's waterproof and prime proof. Really? Our final competitor, he who shall not be named. I have no use for this now. I have the Go 3. This is worthless. It's pointless. I told you guys the Hummer was heavy. 
That's all she wrote. Ugh. <sighs>